All right, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Oh, man, this is a good one. I had was on my phone upstairs, and I said, damn, I got to come and do this video right now. Because this is a good video. See, a lot of people don't like Fresh and Fit. A lot of people hate on Fresh and Fit. I like Fresh and Fit. And the reason why I like Fresh and Fit is because they speak how they feel. Now, there's some things I disagree with them on, but at the same time, that's their opinion. So I'm going to leave that there. What I will say is, they say what should be said. That's it. They say what should be said. You can't get around it. This, what he's saying right here, is absolutely correct. Absolutely. It doesn't apply to everybody, but you motherfuckers know who this applies to. Y'all know who he's talking about. Y'all know exactly who he's talking about. So let's get into the clip, man. This is epic. This is epic. No, I'm not a hate. I've got a disagreement. Go ahead. Um, I just didn't, I didn't like the way that, um, I just felt some type of way about the fact that like the civil rights movement made it possible for Beijing's and Sudanese to, you know, become great in this country. And then in the process of that sacrifice, it's like African-Americans that getting shitted on by the same people that they sacrificed for them to get here. <laughs> Yo, you're funny, bro. <laughs> uh, when did we ever make fun of the civil rights movement or anybody that helped that he's trolling. black people achieve equality in the United States? You you trolling right? Are, are you serious, bro? No, I'm not trolling at all. I'm not trolling at all. I just, I mean, the narrative is that I mean, y'all don't talk about you. You said the black Americans are lazy, that they're soft, that they're pussy and they're bitches. To put it to, to, to put it in, in verbatim. Uh, well, that is not verbatim because I and never I, said I, I, all I, I black saw, people I are like that. I just said the black, the I said the black community likes to take on the victim mindset a lot of the times as to, you know, civil injustices and use that as an excuse for why they're not where they want to be. Which is true. Okay. You can't, you can't sit there and blame systematic racism and all these other stupid ass social buzzwords for why you're not where you want to be. You can't. When you have people that come into this country that don't even speak a lick of English that end up owning businesses, end up making that money, end up becoming millionaires, etc. And people over here crying about, oh, systematic racism. Oh my God, no, this is fucked up. I don't I, I quit the same opportunities. You got people coming here from China, from Africa, from foreign countries that can't even speak the language and they figure it out. What's your excuse? That's all I'm saying. But what I am saying is that we can't sit here and cry about the past, about what happened. We got to become better and understand that we have, we got to look at the opportunities that we do have versus what we don't have. And people, people like to use that as an excuse for why they're not where they want to be. And I'm here to say that's fucking bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. <laughs> Yo, this is going to piss a lot of people off, but this motherfucker is on fire right now. Let me let him keep going. Keep on going, bro. I'm a victim. Like, we really got to get out of this victim mindset because here's the thing. I'm telling y'all what the other races think about us and they laugh behind the scenes. They ain't going to tell you that, though. But if, if someone's got to tell the uncomfortable truth, I, it ain't going to be white people. I'll tell y'all right fucking now. White people in the background, they laughing. Yo, these fucking black guys, man. Oh, my, these black people, all they do is cry and complain. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're buying more Jordans. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, they're buying more designer. Ha, 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 ha. Like, they're laughing at you niggas, bro. <laughs> Yo. Right here is going to get two niggas upset, boy. Oh my god, if y'all didn't like Fresh and Fit now, I'm gonna tell you right now, y'all gonna hate these boys, but just somebody's gotta say it. Oh man, this right here, he is on fire right now. They look at it like, yo, um, these fucking guys, all they do is cry and complain about their situation, and they don't necessarily want to be better, blah blah blah. And they just laugh about it. They just, they'll never say it out in public, of course, because they don't want to be called rape, racist or bigots or whatever. But I'll call it out because, yo, too many people have a victim fucking mindset. I'm saying what well, a lot of people wish they could say, but they can't because they're not colored. So they can't say this shit. You can't talk about black community situations because you ain't black. Um, okay, if I'm not a mathematician, I can't say one plus one is two? No. 
We got to operate in objective reality here and pull our fucking feelings out of it. A lot of people are living in poverty that happen to be colored because of their own fucking choices. Oh, oh my God. Yo. A lot of you niggas is getting a reality check today. Oh, man, he's on fire right now. Because of the color of the skin or where they grew up socioeconomically or anything else like that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. I dealt with all the same shit you did. And I'm not going to sit here and cry about, oh, systematic oppression, all oh, this other fuck shit. Stop being a fucking pussy, man. That's what it comes down to because I've suffered the same shit you guys have and I chose not to. Matter of fact, I could, I have even more excuses because not only did I get it for being black, I also got it for being Muslim. I also got it for speaking Arabic. I also got it because the way I look. So I was being made fun of being called a fucking terrorist on one end and then also being called a fucking black guy on the other end and being made fun of for being both. So I don't want to hear no fucking excuses. Okay? Because if the KKK comes after me, they get like a double kill. Triple kill. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas over here crying. Oh my God, oh, this is fucked up. You're not even black. Shut the fuck up. Because the same people that oppress us, the police, the white people, the man, they look at me as black too. The difference between me and you is that I don't use that as a fucking excuse for why I'm not where I want to fucking be. I use that shit as motivation. A lot of you motherfuckers just, quite frankly, you don't got heart, man. You don't got fucking heart. You're a fucking bitch. You're a pussy. You want to cry about your situation. You're out here out fucking living on food stamps. Got Section 8 housing and all this other shit. Why you got to approve? I'm just chilling. Yo. <laughs> Somebody's going to smack this dude up. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody's going to try to do something to this dude. Because he right now is on fire. Listen. People hate the truth. They hate the truth, man. And he's telling it. They hate it. They fucking hate the truth. He's telling the truth right now. He's telling the truth. And this is the harsh reality of it. And this, and, and I swear to you, the black community needs to hear this, man. We need to hear this. We need people like this. We need people like him. Because every all your friends is always going to tell you what you want to hear. Your family is going to tell you what you want to hear. We need somebody that's going to tell you, listen, if you lazy, get the fuck off your ass. That's what we need. And not everybody's lazy. And I hate those people that get in the comments and always say, oh, well, all black people ain't like, obviously all black people ain't like that, motherfucker. We all know they not like that. We talking about the ones that, that complain that are like that. Y'all know that. Damn, this oh, is man, crazy. Fuck out of here, bro. Stop crying. I went through the same shit and I made something to myself. I grew up in a poor household with foreign parents that didn't even fucking speak English, making $8 an hour. My fucking dad getting robbed by people, uh, being a cabbie in New York City. I don't want to hear no fucking excuses. None. That's all you motherfuckers do is cry, bro. That's all they do on fucking Twitter. Well, I'm really black because my parents were here in 1945 and they know Martin Luther King. Shut the fuck up. That's why foreigners come to this country and laugh at you niggas, bro. What? <laughs> Gonna kill you niggas. Oh man, let's go. Let's fucking go. Fuck. Chinese people come to this fucking country. You know what they do? They open up a fucking Chinese food spot in the hood. The yep, Indian people, yep. they go open up a convenience store in, in the, the hood. hood. The Arabs, they come into the United States. They go put a fucking liquor store in the hood. And them <laughs> niggas can't even drink. They laughing at you, Beauty stupid shops. fucks. Because you guys come into the store. Oh, hey, son, let me get a let me get a pack of Hennessy. Uh, yo, I only got 20 on me right now, bro. I know it's 50, but y'all do a hookah, brother. No. Come, come. He said a pack of Hennessy. Niggas really trying to get twisted on a pack of Hennessy. <laughs> a pack. You could tell he don't drink. <laughs> he said a pack of Hennessy. <laughs> but keep going, bro. You got it. <laughs> I got get with the money. Come they back. laugh at you niggas because you guys were born here with the opportunity and they're making a killing off you stupid fucks. Because you got <laughs> Yo, let's go. Speak English, born here, raised here, U.S. citizenship, and you're still a fucking loser. Going into a foreign nigga store, buying the fucking alcohol, crying and complaining about why you're not where you want to be, but you're drunk all the time off of fucking Hennessy. That's the truth in the black community. That's the fucking truth. You choose to be a fucking loser. Okay? And I don't want to hear nothing. Because if I get pulled over by the police versus you get pulled over by the police, the only difference is that I'm not going to be a fucking retard. I know how to move. I'm going to tell him, how you doing, officer? I'm going to keep my fucking hands on the steering wheel. I'm not going to call him a fucking dirty pig and sell this other stupid shit. I'm going to walk off with no ticket. Your dumb ass is going to get in trouble. Because you want to sit there arguing with the police and say, defund the police, fuck the police, fuck the police, yeah, 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 yeah. You 
create your reality based off of how you fucking behave, based off of how you act. Okay? So stop fucking crying about the situation. Yes, does police uh, brutality exist? Yes. Are police biased towards black people? Yes. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to add fuel to the fire and act like a fucking dumbass, pull out your phone and say, oh, you fucking racist pig? Da, 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 da. They're human beings too. And if they can fuck you over for you acting like an idiot, they fucking will. All right? It's your choice to operate in reality. Don't be a fucking idiot. Don't commit crimes. Don't put yourself in precarious situations. Don't fucking do stupid shit. Don't do drugs. Don't drive drunk. But guess what? That takes what? Accountability. <laughs> this is going to upset a lot of people, boy. But God damn, this nigga is on fire right now. <laughs> Let's go. Who wants to be fucking accountable anymore? Say word. It's amazing to me how many of you motherfuckers are fucking soft, bro. Fucking soft. Fat, triple chin, looking like shit, fucking doing drugs all the time, drinking alcohol, not going to school, not fucking getting a job, and you wonder why you're a fucking loser. Why the police look at you crazy? Because you're not worthy of being fucking respected. And then your dumbass has the audacity, you fucking pig, fuck you. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? You're disrespecting him. Just because he has a uniform doesn't mean he's not human. And if he can't fuck your life up, he will. And that's what ends up happening, because you niggas want to talk. I get it. We have a chip on our shoulder because we're black. Act correct. The world isn't fair, man. The world isn't fair. I'm telling you, I've been, I've been profiled too. I just choose not to let it affect my reality. I operate in reality. I understand that I need to be respectful to the police because they're the authority. Damn, man. People fucking cry all the time, bro. We play skate it's fucked up. We're the only race of people that fucking cry all the time, bro. I don't see Indian people crying. I don't see fucking Chinese people crying. I don't see Hispanics crying. They fucking come here and work. They don't fucking cry about their situations. Even Africans that are black just like you that suffer the same bullshit, the same fucking racial prejudice, they fucking work. It don't matter if your name is fucking uh, John Jones versus fucking uh, Dikembe Mutombo. When they pull you over, all they see is black skin. So stop trying to fucking separate the shit. You're a loser because you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is the realest shit I ever heard. Oh my god, let's go. It's nothing to do with oh, just are you some some heron or whatever else? Like on fucking Twitter, you guys are out here saying some stupid shit. Oh, well, you're Dominican, so you're not really black. Blah blah blah. Get the fuck out of here, bro. If he's dark skinned and he's fucking Dominican, it don't matter. They're gonna consider him black too. Damn man, just accept the fact that you're a fucking pussy and you're a loser and keep making excuses for yourself. But don't sit here and try to say, oh my god, it's the man. He's holding me down. Fuck out of here, man. Is the caller still on phone? Yeah, but listen, though. What, what y'all not understanding is, see, y'all looking at the situation from, you know, from a foreigner mindset. You know what I'm saying? Because with black people... From a foreigner they mindset? They're not opportunities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you so, said from, from a foreigner? No, like I'm saying. Yo. Uh, because, see... Hey, you do realize that well, just a second ago, like five minutes, not even like three minutes ago, I said that I was born in the United States and I went through all the same exact fucking issues that a lot of african-american men deal with in the united states because i was racially profiled plenty of times too the difference is i just chose not to cry about it i mean i understand that <laughs> but a lot of black people you know they they get discriminated they get denied opportunities because they have to go through discrimination through housing jobs a lot of, you know. he just caught listen this caller i could tell and and shout out to the caller shout out to the caller because i think he's just I think he just is under the impression that Fresh and Fit was, uh, he probably, somebody probably told him about Fresh and Fit. I don't think he really watched them. And I think that obviously he, he didn't know that, that, uh, he was born in America, but shout out to the caller. Call it, call it made up some good points. He brought up some, he says some things that I think that, we all been saying too, but I think that what he's saying, with uh, I think his name is Myron. What Myron is saying is that we need to stop crying, and I think he's the caller is basically saying what Myron's saying. Listen, I hear what you're saying, but fuck all that. We need to stop crying, and we and we need to do something about it. This is great. This is really great. I like this. These these situations is real. You same know, thing it's here, not bro. Myth. Same thing here. Yo, 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 caller. I went through the same shit. Caller, 
Uh-huh. What is what's the question here, bro? Because bringing up race, bro. I mean, bro, we're past this, bro. Just, what, what's what's the next topic, bro? Because this is going nowhere. What's the next topic? No, no, I'm just saying that I disagree with that. You know, I mean, I understand what what y'all saying that we got to figure out how to overcome this. Yeah. But, you so know, what's the problem? The, the racism is real. You know what I'm saying? We never said it doesn't doesn't exist, though. That's what I'm trying to tell bro. you. That I want to make this extreme. Okay. No, let me make this fucking clear for everybody. I never said racism doesn't exist. I said it's either you're going to be a victim of the racism or you're going to become a somebody through the racism. I choose to become a somebody. I'm not going to let it change my mindset and make me think like, oh, my God, I have a disadvantage. Not not respect that. I understand that. That's what I said earlier. So I never said racism doesn't exist. It's your choice how you're going to adapt. You can either adapt and overcome or you can cry and say, oh, my God, it's fucked up. The man's holding me down. Cool. Yeah. Because I went through the same shit too, bro. You coming from with that? You can't say a foreigner's mindset when I was born in the United States and I went through the same bullshit, man. And see, I think a lot of people are under the impression that he is a foreigner, and I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that. Oh, because so let me get this right. So if you speak on things in America, and you say, "Hey, listen." You need to you need to get past this. You can't say nothing if you wasn't born here. <laughs> because people don't look at you as an American black man. And what he said about when he said the cops roll up on you and they just see black skin, it doesn't matter. They listen, I didn't know that this guy was Dominican. He looked black. And so did the other one. Obviously, the other one looks black too. So all this, all that, yeah, yeah, I hate when they do this. I hate when, when some of y'all do that. Y'all try to use that as a talking point when he probably went through the same shit that we all went through. He just chose to take a different path. That's just that. But this is an epic rant, man. Epic rant. Um, This is great, man. This is probably one of the realest things I ever heard somebody say about the black community. And it's something that we need to hear. You know what I mean? Something we need to hear. And I know a lot of people are going to be hating on it. They're just not going to listen to it. Because people don't like him. But my thing is, if you actually sit down and listen to what he's saying, he's making he's making a lot of sense. Whether you like him or not. You ain't like your parents when you was growing up. But they told you what to do. And they made a lot of sense. But you know what it is. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Also, subscribe to the Shadow Core Radio page. I'm out of here.